Hi, in this specific video, you're going to learn how to use WordPress widgets in the sidebar. Now, WordPress widgets are really exciting because you can do a whole lot with widgets. So right now, we're looking at the live site, and I want to use this as an example. And let's say, for example, that this sidebar, which it is, is widgetized. And what that means is you see like recent posts, recent comments, and stuff like that. You can actually move this stuff around, which is the beauty of widgets. And let's say the footer is a widget, which it is. You can move recent posts down here. You can, you can really move stuff around. And not only that, you can also like add plugins and you can add calendars and, and, and things like that. Let's say I wanted to remove all this and just keep recent posts and have a calendar. I could do that with widgets. So now that you have a basic understanding of what widgets are, let me go ahead and go to the dashboard and let's start playing around with some widgets. So if you go to the dashboard, widgets are located under the appearance section. So if you go to appearance, click on widgets, and as you can see right now, these are the available widgets, like existing available widgets. Now you can always add more, but I'm gonna keep it simple right now and just keep with these widgets. Okay, so right now, if I go back to the live site, remember we see on the sidebar, we've got recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, and meta. So if you go back here, you'll notice the same thing. So the beauty of this is that you can remove certain things. Let's say I don't want meta. If I don't want meta, I can just simply drag and drop meta over here. Let's say I want to move archives over here. And what happens is it's all real time. So if I were to refresh this page, you can see that everything that you see here, recent posts, recent comments, and categories are here, just as you can see it here. And the search, of course, is at the top here. That's the search bar. So the main sidebar is this here. Then you have your showcase sidebar, which says the sidebar for the optional showcase template. And this is the footer area one, you got footer area two, and footer area three. So what this means is that because you have three, that means that there are three different columns in terms of the footer. So if I put, let's say, let's say I'll put links in footer area one, and I'll put the calendar, let's say I'll put the calendar here, and I'll move the calendar, see I'll move the links up here, and the calendar down here. And after I refresh the page, you're gonna see the widgets at the very bottom. So you can see the calendar here. Uh, links, we don't have any links, so that's there's nothing that's gonna appear there. So I might switch out the links, and let's say I'll move recent posts to footer area one. So footer area one is gonna be on the left-hand side and it's just gonna go from left to right. So if I go back over here, you see recent posts in the footer, then the calendar. And if I were to add a, another widget to footer area three, it's gonna show up on the right hand side. So that's just really, really fun and really cool because you can actually move stuff around, which makes it really, really convenient. Now, different themes can be different. So, for example, right now we're using the 2011 theme, and when the theme was programmed, you know, this 
this area and the, these are the widgets. So for example, some of the premium themes that you buy will have different areas and different areas that you can widgetize. So for some themes, it might give you the ability to widgetize the top, widgetize the bottom, widgetize the middle. So you kind of get the point here that widgets basically give you the ability to move things around. And if I go over here, you have, as you can see, this is a plugin. So a lot of times you'll install a plugin and you can actually use that as a widget and put it over here. So you've got this, you've got archives, you've got calendar, you've got categories, custom menus, links, meta, recent comments, pages, recent posts, RSS feeds, tags, text, and search. Text gives you the ability to add HTML. And this is a little more advanced, but if I were to drag this, let's say, over to the footer, Text gives you the ability to add other text or HTML code. So let's say for example that I wanted to add a picture over here or like a banner ad or you know a video or something small that would fit here. I can actually do that simply by getting the HTML code and just plopping it into here. So that's a nifty way of putting up banner ads and images and a lot of other stuff in the sidebar and you can do that down here and this and that so this is what widgets are all about as you can see it's really exciting and just play around with it and see how you can move things around and and make it work for your site it's that easy